This time we're going to look at infill settings, which is something that we mentioned when we created our 3D print using the recommended print setup options. And infill was here on the screen and we got this slider button to actually increase or decrease the amount of structure that we put inside of the model. So it's this yellow structure here that you can see in the layers view that infill relates to. So here we got a radio button that basically jumps in 10% increments. If we want something other than 10, 20, 30%, maybe we want a more specific figure, then the way to do that is to jump to the custom settings. And within custom settings, there is an infill area, which will allow me to type in a specific infill density. Um, maybe I want 15%. I couldn't do that in the recommended settings, but I can do it in the custom settings. The other interesting thing in this particular area is the infill pattern. Uh, I'm currently set at grid in this current print, as you can see on the screen. If I click and choose triangles, we'll let Cura now recompute that internal structure using a triangular infill pattern. Now while it's doing that, it's just useful to notice that there are a number of other things that relate to infill, all of which have a little dialog box that will pop up next to them to explain what they are if you want to take a look at those. So now it's created that triangular infill, it's just processing the layers, and now you can see what a triangular infill at 20% looks like. So that's a different internal structure to the grid structure. Again, take a look at the print time because it does have an effect on print times. So um, infill structures do play a big part in how quickly or how slowly your 3D prints actually uh, take to produce. So play around with the infill pattern, play around with the infill density. But my recommendation would be to experiment in the layers view as we're looking at here on the screen now. Don't experiment on 3D prints. Experiment in the virtual world, looking at the layers view and getting a feel for what changes of the infill pattern and changes of the infill density do to both print time and to the pattern that it creates inside of your model.